film about a CSRA man's efforts to push civil rights in both Georgia and South Carolina just hit the big screen. His son, Benny R. Mitchell III, wrote, produced, and directed a documentary that tells all. News Channel 6's Ashley Jones spoke with Mitchell about his father's legacy. Civil rights have been part of growing up here. That we couldn't go in the drugstore and sit down to eat. Genovis Gallus Mitchell remembers his brother making an impact on the community of Edgefield at the age of 15. He made it known that this is not right. And it's still, when it happened, and I think he took a stand toward that. But he was a young man then. His brother says after finishing college, Reverend Mitchell continued his activism out in Savannah, Georgia, spending nearly 40 uh, years of his life leaders. making a difference. They are elected Parts of those moments leaders. captured by his son, Benny R. Mitchell III, at just 12 years old. The very film during the opening credits, there's a shot of like Coretta Scott King and my father at the Capitol when they started to sign the holiday into uh, existence. That was me, and you could tell by the elevated uh, angle. Mitchell calls the film a divine assignment. The documentary took more than a decade for him to put together. Two and a half of those years spent pulling together footage of his father's speaking engagements. So I had to gather all of these things, which were already gathered. My father kept his own library. Then he began writing his father's story, one that Mitchell felt was important for people to know. It's important for other people to watch this, especially the youth um to see this because they will be shoved with the same leaders not saying that not taking anything away from it but there were more than one leader that that led the movement or led the direction or the people um towards the movement uh and just so happens mlk was the focus light on that um i wanted the younger generation to see it was more than just one person. The movement is more than just one person. The movement is more than one decade. Mitchell says his father was instrumental to the civil rights movement out in Savannah, but his civil rights efforts were rooted in Edgefield. Um, when they integrated the, the pharmacy, um, they took their time leaving and they said, hey, the country may have said that we integrated, but Edgefield has not, and we're not. 